Hey, welcome to another radio video and this is uh, kind of a second look at my uh, little adapter that I talked about a few weeks ago um, and it's the uh, show you here that little adapter right there which is basically the uh, easy cap um, DVB uh, FM DAB well it's the um, that little dongle that actually was made originally to uh, watch iDef television and um, with a uh, piece of software that's called SDR sharp uh, you actually turn this thing into a um, an SDR a uh, software defined radio SDR means software defined radio and basically you've got the electronics for the receiver in this little dongle but the ma the, 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 the all of the you know electronic um, gymnastics for radio is done through a software in your computer which is here on my laptop so uh, my first impression was kind of a little um, negative and um, I actually had a lot of messages from people saying well I think it's not set up right I think you're not doing it right and uh, basically they were right uh, on a lot of some uh, many many points basically um, and I didn't know the SDR Sharp uh, program very much so um, I started out with was what was kind of a uh, okay receiver but nothing really good now after playing with it it's actually turning into an amazing little radio actually and I am very surprised at its sensitivity and uh, that was one of the problems at first because I was talking about basically very little sensitivity uh, on this device and actually there is a lot of sensitivity it's just that in the software what I haven't done is that next to the RTL SDR uh, USB on the upper left I didn't click the configure and look properly here and here behold RF gain there's a little slider right there for RF gain so um, actually what happened is I was probably somewhere uh, here in the RF gain which gave me strong signals but didn't give me everything so I just put the slider all the way to the right and uh, behold I could hear signals that I wasn't able to hear before so for example uh, I'm tuned to 162.400 right now and um, this is the uh, Burlington Vermont weather station and um, basically it's about a hundred kilometers away even more and uh, all my radios could receive it but it's still a signal that's quite far and behold when I put the when I put that receiver more sensitive I started hearing it. Now it's not a not the best the best of example because uh, here there's an interference, but you get the drift that I can hear much weaker signals now. Uh, so now, for example, my local weather really comes in much better than it did back then and what's cool is now the spikes on the uh, the display also showing me different types of signals like for example this is maritime uh, and if I enter different frequencies now I can hear something so for example uh, 4 5 1 megahertz UHF and I could click on the little peaks and see what signals I can hear. There's some trunking signals. You can uh, really, really get a drift. 
of all these signals present around and it's actually really cool to see these little spikes going around and bringing you different types of signals so I actually get a much better receiver now if I go at 410 with local police now I can look at the spikes and try to listen to different signals if available of course so it actually is a much better receiver than I thought at first uh, so I uh, apologize for the first report that uh, you know, a lot of guys you know send me messages saying whoa 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 I got the same one and what you're hearing is not what I'm hearing it, it should be better than that and basically um, it is true that with the um, addition of you know more RF gain and playing around with the different settings this dongle does become a much better receiver so uh, that's the good news and I actually find that finally this thing is worth really really worth the price um, it's just so cheap on eBay and uh, even on um, Deal Extreme uh, you really really should get this basically 20-30 buck receiver and uh, the only problem for about anyone that's not really tech savvy uh, is the fact that it was a little complicated to set up uh, not for me because it was I'm a tech guy so I understand really well what you need to do in the computer and the DLL files that you have to copy uh, but for someone that's not really very computer oriented uh, it's a little difficult to uh, install and actually um, it gave me an idea to do probably a video um, in the coming weeks I'll do a video because I'll go, I'm going to install this dongle on another uh, laptop computer that I have and I'm gonna show you step by step installation so if you ever get this little dongle you'll know how to install the dongle so that it works um, so it I really changed my mind at first I was like a little um, not really sure I should you know say you should buy it but now I'm definitely sure that with all the new settings that I put and um, a lot of guys also told me that you can actually modify the little dongle and go into the shortwave bands uh, because this one that I have does not go to the shortwave bands it stops somewhere around um, I'd say it stops somewhere around 30 or 40 megahertz um, there is one that's a little more expensive that actually does go down way down to the shortwave bands so that could be an interesting uh, buy if you're looking for a shortwave uh, dongle because basically this is a shortwave uh, shortwave channel and we want to talk more about shortwave than anything else but yet um, I like talking about you know all the possibilities more than just uh, having um, shortwave it's fun to know that there's another spectrum you know, VHF UHF stuff that exists so um, if you're looking for a little dongle that's quite cool and that's very cheap and that basically makes your turns your uh, computer into a scanner if you can say uh, you can listen to your local police this is our local police uh, here the provincial police here so it gives you an idea it really works well very good reception and um, actually I'm getting the fun of using a software defined radio because it's really cool to see this waterfall um, and have all the spikes of the different signals that show up everywhere clicking on these little signals 
to see when they are, when they appear on the display is really beautiful. I really enjoy it. So, um, I think it's worth the, uh, the money, that's for sure. Um, and it gives yourself a very cheap radio. And uh, once you've installed it, well, you, you know, just tune around from uh, VHF all the way to a UHF. Uh, it goes about, I would say it goes about nine, around 900 megahertz um, on this dongle. Um, I've heard 800 megahertz signals, for example. So, um, gives you an idea. This is a, whoops, this is a 254, 86. One enter, so it uh, does receive signals in the 800 megahertz range also, uh, which is pretty cool. So um, that's my second look. I hope uh, you guys will uh, find that it's a little uh, better setup here. I still of course need to improve on the uh, software itself. I'm gonna play a lot with it and uh, actually we'll do a video to show you how to install on a PC. Uh, I'll also make a video how to uh, tweak the SDR Sharp software. Uh, that is a, quite a good software but it's um, a little difficult to uh, go through and uh, actually understand but uh, it's a good pretty good piece of uh, of uh, software for uh, this the, the uh, receiver here so uh, hope you enjoy the videos and 73